Boom! What is up, everybody? And welcome to me again. Let's talk about stands. Let's talk about large communities of people obsessively and overzealously focusing in on one thing and really going out of their way to be cruel, mean, and ultimately quite unfriendly to anybody that might disagree. There's different spectrums, criteria. In this video, we're gonna be talking specifically about how the word stan, I feel, based on its definition, can actually go into a broad range of things. Throughout history, from the past, going into the future, and currently in the present, can actually lend themselves to that culture and history of being a stan. So let's jump right in. Part one, the etymology of stan. The originator of the word stan as we know it is Marshall Mathers, AKA Eminem. On one of his studio offerings, the Marshall Mathers LP, he has a song called Stan, where he sets the stage with this very super hyped fan writing him letters for three verses and him responding in the fourth. In 2017, the word stan was officially added to the Oxford Dictionary. The Oxford Dictionary. But how did hip hop manage to make this word the word that it is? How did it find its way into hip hop in such a direct, intense manner that now it can be applied to so many different cultural phenomenons around the world? Let me tell you. Nas released a song called Ether. Uh, I fuck with your soul like Ether. We teach you the king, you know you. Nice. God's son across the belly. Lose. I prove you lost the race. A year later, in 2001, and in that song, he essentially ripped apart Jay-Z and won that battle. Argue with your toes. Argue with your toes. He uses Stan to describe Jay-Z as a diss. And this is the first time we see it being used in a popularized song. So that... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a joke. This is the first time we see it being used outside of Eminem's original use of the word. Now, according to Genius News, this is the earliest known tweet to use Stan. So this is the earliest known use of the word Stan on the internet as far as, you know, their researchers are concerned. I wasn't bothered to do all that work. It's just so much, it's just so much research. I mean, they made an entire video about like the origin of Stan. So essentially, actually, I'm just gonna link their video in the description. So just maybe just go give that a look first and then and then come back and then we can, we can really get into it. Stands come in different shapes, in different sizes. Some of the world's most popular stand groups as we know it are, you know, the Bayhive, Arenators, Barbies for Nicki Minaj, the Beliebers for Justin Bieber, the Megacy for AKA. I don't really know what they call um, other South African artists fan group. Ooh, he said it, Ooh, he said it, he said it, he said it. <laughs> Part two, defining my understanding of stands. First, let me define what is being stand so that I don't have to keep on saying all these different words in order to define myself. I'm just gonna say icon. So when I'm referring to the object of a stand's desire, I'm just gonna say icon. The criteria for stands are as follows. Number one, they invest an exorbitant amount of time and money disproportionate to the other activities in their lives into their icons. They will move aside family, friends, monetary gain, potential experiences, connections, understanding of relationships, they will abandon any and everything, disproportionately at least, to their icon. Number two is they have a strong, 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 strong defensive mindset about their community. They will fight you tooth and nail, swear at you, kill you in some instances for their community. Number three is that they restructure their entire identity to follow in the footsteps to model themselves after the icon. They will change the way they speak, walk, talk, the people that they engage with, things that make them who they are, culture that they find themselves truly ingratiated within might become one that is coming from far and short. Now, Obviously, I'm speaking on the extremes. There are spectrums of stands. I'm an Arsenal fan. Really, really like keeping up with, following, getting angry at, being disappointed by. <laughs> I haven't restructured my entire identity, according to Arsenal, but I would say I am pretty defensive of the Arsenal fan community. Stands come together and form communities. Also form together upon the spectrum. 
So on one side of the spectrum, there'll be an entire community of stands that together agree 100% that the behavior of the other side of the spectrum is ridiculous. Part three, part three. Modern day stand community is that need to be stopped. I'm gonna run through these pretty quickly because I'm not gonna spend waste too many time, too much time on these people. There's only one or two that I might actually get into, but first and foremost, we have the flat earth community. Just It just needs to stop. I thought it was kind of a bit of a meme at first, but it's, it's very serious. The anti-vaxxer community needs to be stopped. They definitely need to be stopped. I hear their case. I hear their case. I hear their case. The problem with their case is that it's stupid. <sighs> the religious persecution slash oppression community. Now this one, I can't narrow down to one particular community. All I can say is that there are stand communities online, you know who you are, actively oppressing people, actively persecuting people because their beliefs just don't match up. If it's not causing you and your own any harm, if it's not gonna ripple effect impact you in some hectic way, why, why, who, and lastly, the K part. Part four. Modern day stand communities that need more stands but won't get them because their current stand communities are toxic AF. I, I feel like they're obvious. First and foremost, <sighs> Bernie Sanders supporters. See, let me, let me disclaimer this by saying that Bernie Sanders, that's the guy, that's the guy. I think it's illogical for anybody else to get elected. Anybody else to get elected. You may disagree with me and that's okay. Argue with your toes. I'm a Bernie Sanders fan. I will say that, I'm a Bernie Sanders fan. But online? Y'all are toxic, bro. Y'all are so toxic. So toxic. You're just so, you're just so mean. Bernie Sanders, 2020, you need to get some of your more extreme stands. And last but not least, toxic. You wanna talk about toxic? Pop stars, online malicious. Let's talk about the rows and rows and groups and groups attacking people that might get a lyric wrong or might support an artist that their artist doesn't like or might, actually, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Part five. The stolen identity of the South African stand communities. Already? Yes, I thought you said you wanted a shorter- Yeah, but you kind of had like structure in this one. I kind of wanted it to go- 